Good morning, Washington! This is Dave TV for the 17th of August, 2011. A uh, nice sunny Wednesday here in uh, here, 15 miles west of the nation's capital. How are you doing? Uh, so look at this. Uh, uh, interesting little thing here. Just wanted to talk about. Notice there's that flash mob thing. Remember that? Uh, that was on the news. Uh, and there, there are these uh, kids. Uh, they look like they're all about, you know, teenagers, maybe, you know, 17, 18. Uh, doing one of those flash mob things where they announce, where they kind of get together on uh, social media. And they all hit a store at one time. And uh, this is what they did on uh, the 13th up at a uh, 7-Eleven in uh, Germantown, Maryland. And it looks like they're, yes, all pretty much African-American, doesn't it? I mean, you, you look at just about every kid in that group and, you know, black kid, right? Okay. So then, let's see here. You go to WMAL, which is the righty talker in town. And, of course, there it is. This is the website for Wednesday afternoon. And right there at the very top, very top story, flash mob update, cops ID close to half the 7-Eleven shooters. Shooters, <laughs> looters. <laughs> so anyhow, they got they got a link to the, to the whole thing right here. You can watch the 7-Eleven surveillance videos, uh, blah, blah, blah. You know, most of these kids took candy and sodas out of a 7-Eleven, okay? All right. You know, granted, that's not a good thing to do. You know, to go into a 7-Eleven and steal candy and soda is not a good thing to do. But I'll tell you. I was listening to WMAL this morning, and they had a bunch of callers calling. And a number of the callers actually said that the owner of the 7-Eleven should get out his gun and just shoot. If you see people looting your store, even if they're teenagers, even if they're stealing candy and soda, you should shoot them. Now, granted, you know, you have to say, at least credit goes to Brian Wilson and... Mary Catherine Spam and Brian Neiman, the morning show hosts who were there at WMAL, for kind of saying, hey, come on, they're kids. You know, they're, they're stealing candy and soda. It isn't good that they're doing that. It isn't good that they organized to do this on the Internet. But come on, you know, mowing them down with guns uh, is a little much. Now, the, the one thing you have to wonder, you know, so much of what goes on WMAL, which is a righty talker, has to do with race. There's the undercurrent of race. It's either immigrants or blacks or some kind of minority. There, there's always that. And and it seems to me, and you know, I don't know if it seems this to others because you know maybe I'm a crazy liberal, but it just seems to me that WMAL's playing up this flash mob thing so much. It's like the lead story on all their newscasts today. It's the lead story on their website. Because they're black kids. If they were white kids that did this in, in Germantown, Maryland, would WMAL be making such a big deal? Here it is. Here it is at the top of the page. Here it is down here again. Uh, you know, the, more flat look, flash mob. Fly, it's like three times the story is linked to at the front of the page, at the top of the page. Let's just see. If we go over to WTOP.com, and see see what they're doing with the flash mob story. Let's see. Okay, Lululemon, uh, da, 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 Prayer Schools, uh, September 11th. Uh, hmm, WTOP reporter sends reporter to eat bugs. Oh, dear. <laughs> uh, you know, I'm, I'm looking at the top. I don't see it at the top of the page here. There's DC News. Uh, you know, they, they have that. Uh, crime reporter becomes a victim on Metro. The, that uh, crime reporter for the uh, for the Examiner, you know, gets his iPad, i iPhone or whatever the hell stolen on the Metro. So they did report that, but I'm not seeing the flash mob story here on WTOP. Hmm. Now, maybe I'm sure it's here somewhere, but I just don't see it. Now, let's see. Would it be okay? It would be under Maryland News, right? Because it's Germantown is a Maryland uh, jurisdiction there. Da, 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 da. Montgomery County. Let's look at Montgomery County. Here we are. Police identify some involved with flash mob. So yes, WTOP does report the story. They have an update of it as of today. They have a link to the thing. And uh, 
a very, very, very short little story here from AP. Or from... Copy, no, it's that WTOP story. 30 people stole an item from a German town. But it's not like they're hyping it as much as WMAL is. You know? Now, I don't know. You know, we click on the link there, and you can see it again. You know? I don't know. You just, you got to wonder, uh, is WMAL hyping this so much simply because they're mainly black kids? You know, you wonder if that, that was all a bunch of suburban white youth. <laughs> Would WMAL be making such a, you know, and the very fact that I have to ask that question kind of tells you about, uh, you know, what people think of W. I don't know. WMAL, it just, it just seems like so many of their, 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 their hype stuff on that station has to do with some sort of a racial undercurrent. You know, it's like listening to black, it's listening to Rush Limbaugh calling our president, what does he call him? Um, a man child. You know, I mean, you call a black American man a man child is pretty much, isn't a man child basically a boy? Isn't that just a kind of a code word? At, at saying someone's a boy. I don't know. You know, you hear this kind of stuff at WMAL, and it just makes you wonder. You know, I don't have any problem with them reporting the story about the flash mob in Germantown, but the way they've hyped it three times on the top of their front page. Look, I'm looking at WashingtonPost.com right now, and I don't see it. So let's let's see what they did with it. Let's see if we go flash mob Germantown. And see where the post covered it here on the, their website. <laughs> well, I don't know. Really? <laughs> no results found. Local. Let's try the local page. Yeah, again, even if they have it on here, it's like the post website. You can't find anything. Ah! <laughs> Uh, da, 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 I'm looking. I'm looking. I'm looking. I'm looking. Lululemon. Lululemon. Okay, you know, I, again, I'm not seeing it right here. That doesn't mean it's not somewhere on the Post website. So let's take a look at this. Try Germantown. Germantown, Maryland. And see if there's anything in the Post today. Oh, here we are. Montgomery County Police investigate flash mob robbery. Okay, there, there it is. An Associated Press story of August 15th, which is two days ago. So the Post is running a two-day-old story that wasn't even generated by them. It was generated by AP. So you got to wonder, here's WMAL playing up this story heavily, that bleeding every newscast today with it, running it three times at the top of their website. And here's the Washington Post um, playing, you know, running an AP version of it on uh, the 15th, which is two days ago. So, uh, and look at that, that, they stole snacks, you know, I don't know, you know, I, you might want to say to me, Dave, you're a liberal, WMAL is right, playing this up so much, you know, it's, it's a big deal, and, you know, it is a bunch of kids stealing snacks and soda from a 7-Eleven, um, black kids, uh, you may criticize the Washington Post, you know, running a thing from three to two days ago. I don't know. I, I, I just look at it in perspective and I say, if the racial element wasn't there, WMAL wouldn't be playing it up as much as they are. That's just what I'm saying. Okay, if it was a bunch of white kids, they probably wouldn't be. Um, I'd be interested to hear your comments. <laughs> let me know. Email me <laughs> and let me know what you think. Uh, what's the big news uh, today? Anything going on in the web, in the world, the wonderful world of Washington Radio? The Washington Radio. La 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 la. Latest radio ratings. WTOP remains the top. The ratings. The top CBS station in DC is El Zial El Zol at fifteenth. I'll tell you, Steve Swenson. You know. Hey, you've got a bunch of grunky old stations here. You better get to work fixing them up. Oy vey. <laughs> uh, interesting, interesting little thing. Ralph Albertazzi. 
He was the Air Force One pilot back in the late 60s, early 70s, who flew Richard Nixon around on Air Force One. Well, this guy lived in Berkeley County, West Virginia, which is out there in the Panhandle. And apparently in 1991, he started Channel 60 out there, WYVN, with a Fox, one of the early Fox Network programmer, Fox Network affiliation, and started a 6 and 10 p.m. newscast to compete with the Hagerstown's Channel 25. Well, the station lasted a couple years and went bankrupt, and it's now an eye and outlet. But uh, Mr. Albert Tazi passed away on Monday at 88. You know, it's 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 kind of interesting to see people that, you know, have a dream. Maybe the dream doesn't pan out, but, uh, you know, he tried. It didn't work. But, hey, you know, more power to him, right? <laughs> All right, folks, that's Dave TV for today, uh, the 17th of April 2011. Have a good one, and don't forget to stay tuned and cut.